So, I just read a story on PC Gamer, LOL, about how the Master Chief should die. The article is actually titled, It's Time for Master Chief to Die. And the writer says, I'm tired of Halo dragging its protagonist out for more adventures at the expense of his emotional depth. So the question is, do I think the Master Chief will die in Halo Infinite? Maybe. But this is actually something I've been thinking about for a while, you know. How do you move on from the Master Chief if that is the direction that 343 wants to go? Should the Master Chief have just had his story ended after Halo 3 and 343 create a new character? Personally, I think that Jerome is a fantastic character in the Halo universe, and I would love to see him in a mainline FPS game instead of just in Halo Wars. Halo Reach is also considered a pretty amazing campaign by most of the community and even outside of it. And even so, the characters didn't really have any depth. Carter felt like a standard commander generic NPC guy. Emil was your prototypical badass. The one character I felt had a lot of exploration was George. And that came from his scenes with Halsey and how he spoke and also his sacrifice, believing that he saved an entire planet. While you think these characters are cool, there's not really that much emotional attachment because you only play them for a couple of hours. I think the biggest thing that circles around the Master Chief dying is movies and games and other forms of media killing off main characters that people have come to love that have been explored, have emotional depth, and people, you know, have that emotional response to them when they die. Think about Iron Man from Marvel. We all felt like he was going to die. It seems like he was going to have this arc where he sacrifices himself. But even so, you feel like there's no way that Iron Man can, can die. He's been a part of the movies from the very beginning. But that's what makes it so impactful. I think of something like Game of Thrones where they had no problem killing off main characters. Or characters that, you know, just came on screen for a few minutes. One of my favorite is Oberon, I believe. When he fights the mountain and he's winning and then the mountain just like smashes his head and gouges his eyes out. And you're like, oh man, that's weird. He was really cool, and now he's dead already. I feel like it's different for the Master Chief though because he is Xbox's mascot. He's basically the Mario God of War with Kratos on Sony. He is synonymous with the Xbox franchise. But does that make him invincible? With how the game is set up, I actually don't know if I think that they will kill off the Master Chief because of how they keep talking about it's a 10 year game. And I don't know what the community feedback would be if he was replaced. And replacing I think is a hard word to use here because you don't just replace the Master Chief. With how the community treats new characters, I'm also very reluctant to think that it would be widely accepted, let's just say. Now, does that also have to deal with 343's writing on certain characters in Halo 5? Yeah, probably. But again, I think it would be super cool to see Jerome as the main character of an expansion or something. The Master Chief is getting old. You can hear it in his voice, in his movements. He's tired. And I think sacrificing yourself to save the universe is probably the only way the Master Chief could go out. So, all in all, do I think the Master Chief will die in Halo Infinite? I don't know. I have no idea. Would I be upset if this is the end of his story? No, not really. As long as it's written well and he is given the grand exit that he deserves. Will I be upset if he doesn't die? No. Again, as long as the story is good and there's reason for him to keep trucking on, then I don't see a problem with it. But let me know down in the comments if you think the Master Chief will die in Halo Infinite. If you care, who do you think would take his place? And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.